Hey, I'm Shane, and in this video I'm going to do an overview of the exotic hand cannon called the Thorn in Destiny. I'll compare the stats of the weapon, look at the skill tree, and talk about the different recoils you can choose for the gun. I'll also talk about how I play with the weapon as well. You get the Thorn by doing the exotic bounty called A Light in the Dark. Personally, I think this is the hardest bounty to get in the game, because it requires you to go in the Crucible and get 500 void points consecutively in dying actually subtracts points. I'll provide a link to the Wikipedia here. The looks of this gun though. This gun has a very hive aesthetic to it. It's a massive pistol and I'm pretty sure it's one of the biggest in the game. On screen, it's pretty manageable though. It's black and jagged and has an organic look to it as the hive weapon and armor, armor seem to do. The sights of the gun is a glowing green holographic type sight. And it's like the other hand cannons that you can have, but it just looks slightly different. The most unique thing I actually think about this gun is that it actually shoots projectiles. Other guns just shoot the bullets, but if you follow where your shots go with the thorn, you'll see that they actually shoot like an almost foot long spike or thorn into the ground or your target, and they'll stay there for a couple like seconds after you shoot it. So it's kind of cool because not many weapons have a unique trait like that. As far as damage goes, the Thorn is a very heavy hitting weapon. It has no elemental damage, making it have no particular edge in different strikes, but if you're landing critical shots you can stagger enemies and with a high impact you can really wreak some havoc. The first three upgrades you can choose from are the different recoils, and I'll go over those later side by side in the video. The next one you get is final round, which gives you a final, the final round in your clip to have a bonus 33% damage. It's not worth emptying your clip to get this bonus, but when it happens, it is nice. The next three options you can choose from are Snapshot, which increases your aiming speed by 30%, and then there's Send It, which gives you more range, but at the cost of carrying less ammo for the weapon, which can be costly in a Raider Strike. And then the next is Perfect Balance, which carries no disadvantage other than increasing your stability. All of these upgrades are very good, and I find myself switching between them, because I don't really feel like I have to commit to one. But if I were to choose one, I'd say Perfect Balance, because the stability is very nice to have, and you'll land more shots on target if you're using this. The last upgrade is the one unique to the Thorn, and it's called Mark of the Devourer. <laughs> and it does two things. First, it allows the rounds to over-penetrate targets, and it leaves lingering damage over time. This is the main selling point for the Thorn for me, besides the high impact, and it allows you to kill multiple enemies at a time while also poisoning them. This is great for dealing with thralls running at you because you can headshot all of them in a row, or if you're dealing with a boss, you can deal extra damage by placing shots on him every few seconds. Now to the recoils. The first up is Accurized Ballistics. This gives you the balanced option between damage, range, and stability. And then there's Field Choke, which has the greatest amount of recoil and the farthest range. And then Aggressive Ballistics, which gives you a more predictable recoil and more damage, but at a shorter range than the other two options. Of these, I usually use Aggressive Ballistics, because I'm usually using my Thorn at mid-range, so I find the most benefit by having a lower recoil. The Thorn has a 9-shot magazine, which came in a recent patch, and a few of the stats in the gun has, have been changed. But essentially, the reload speed is very average on the gun, and with a 9-shot clip, you're not going to be running into any situations where you'll be desperate for getting more shots. So it's pretty handy, but the main thing is you may run out of primary ammo while using this gun, and it's probably the only gun in the game I've done so with. So make sure you have some primary ammo synthesis on hand if you're doing Nightfall Strike or something. Overall, the Thorn is a very solid hand cannon, and it can be unwieldy at times because of the recoil, making it feel like a pretty hard gun to use, but if you get the hang of it, it can be quite the powerful weapon in the Crucible and PvE. In the Crucible, I wouldn't recommend any specific playstyle for using the Thorn. It's a mid-range weapon that you can take people down in 3-4 to four shots with, but the nicest thing is the damage over time. It's pretty fun, because you can actually get like so many kills from the grave with this. Because if you hit one enemy three times in body shots, they will most likely die after, you're, after you die if they kill you. In a strike or raid, the Thorn's pretty useful as well, because of the damage over time again. It allows you to help your teammates out by getting shots on target that will damage them for a longer period of time, giving you a higher potential damage per shot. It also causes weaker enemies to get taken down in one shot often, 
So in conclusion, would I recommend Game the Thorn? Sure. But don't be unprepared for the incredibly grindy bounty this gun has. When you're using this gun, it's incredibly useful, it's a lot of fun. It's not my favorite hand cannon, but it's very useful. So I do recommend picking it up. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below and I'd love to answer them. Please consider subscribing if you want to see my other videos. I'm doing quite a few gun reviews right now, so you can check any of those out. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.